Hey guys, happy Saturday. Cheers to you in one of my, as you know, very favorite cups. God, I need to go back to Lake Tahoe. It's been, has it been over a year? Mm-hmm, yeah, because I know I haven't been since I quit my job. And that makes me very sad. Um, anyway, a couple of things. I have all these products right now on my, um, on my counter to talk to you about. And as you can tell, I am dressed because I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Um, today's kind of a nice day outside, but I've told you guys, I, the thing about me and running outside is um, I want to. I just, I don't have enough clothes. Um, I do have some nice long sleeve jackets. I'd like to get hooked up with some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, Under Armour stuff, you know, uh, for, because you, when you run outside, you don't want to be having like six layers of clothing, right? You want it to be close to the body like our regular stuff is. Um, all the stuff that I have is more for warmer weather, and there's two things. Number one, I don't have enough, you know, I think I only have one pair of gloves. But the thing that does happen when it's chillier out and I run, and it just gets on my nerves. For those of you that run, if you have any hints on this, please do let me know. Um, but my nose will just, it's like a faucet. TMI, TMI. But, um, you know, I'm out running and I find like once I, once I get going, then half the time I'm like, that is just not sexy. Of course, that's the only reason I go running, to look sexy. Um, what I'm saying is, um, it is, that's really annoying, and I don't know if it's something that you can take a pill for. <laughs> I sound more dumb the more I talk. I should just shut up. Anyway. Oh, I love this song. Spice Girls. Yes, I love the Spice Girls. I was so excited when they got back together for the Olympics, and I have both of their first CDs. I don't think I have the third one, but anyway, I was very upset when they started to break up with each other. Uh, Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, I am very sore today, very excited about that. It's always nice to wake up sore. And um, I did, yesterday I did uh, Kathy's Butts and Guts, and let me tell you, I was, I remember I went, um, I went to bed last night and I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to wake up and feel that, and sure enough, I went to get out of bed this morning and I was like, Unga! Like glutes are like, oh hell yes. Um, Kathy Friedrich makes the best workouts. My hair. <laughs> it's funny that uh, as, as far as like if you look at an average week for me, the amount of days that my hair is like this, you know, workout hair look versus long and actually how it's supposed to look. <laughs> It's like 90 to 1, 90 to 10. Anyway, a couple things. I Last night I was getting ready to kind of snuggle in and watch damages on my uh, laptop. I really don't like watching movies on my laptop. I'm not like most people where everybody's all about live streaming. I like to watch TV on a TV. Call me old school. But damages, my one of my favorite um series is only available it's on I don't think you can get it on DVD via Netflix so I had that little squirrel is out there again I will mess you up I know you've seen me anyway so it was chilly out and I was kind of having a sweets craving I'm not gonna lie I probably should look up to see if on flows on the way but I was I wanted coffee and actually what I really wanted I was having this moment of really wanting a chai tea latte and I know one of the things that Valerie has been telling me, Valerie Waters, is, um, and, and also obviously Joe Dowdell, who wrote the whole book on, um, is it called, gosh, now I'm gonna forget the name of the book. Um, but he's all about, you know, hormonal balance for women. And I have to tell you guys, okay, I'm getting off track again. When I would get, because I can have some dairy, as you know, but milk and, and especially things like um, frozen yogurt or anything like that really makes me doubled over in pain. So if I'm going to go in the past, if I'm going to go to Starbucks, I was getting, uh, this was up until I met with Val earlier this summer, I was getting a soy chai latte, which was dreamy. 
and I felt good about it because the Starbucks soy is non-GMO soy and I was all like, oh yeah, this is perfect. And the thing is, is that once I came back from the uh, CrossFit Games and went paleo in my approach, you know, one of the things that they suggest is you don't do soy. So that's when I cut, um, remember how I used to always have those salads with tempa? Is that how you say it? Tempa? I never remember how to say that word. Tempa, tempe, whatever. Um, which is a soy product and I was so I was having that a lot on my salads I was also having um, Soy chai latte if I would go out and those are two things that I don't have anymore and remember when I first came back and I I went paleo and I was Remarking how noticeable I felt I was leaning out and I'm like what is it exactly? I didn't feel like I had changed that much because I'd been, you know, gluten-free for a while without realizing it. Um, and so I remember I had this conversation with Val and I'm like, do you really think it's the soy? And she just said, she's like, it's not something that I used to avoid, but right now, she goes, because I, I remember I, I was calling her one time and I was on my way out and I was gonna go get a soy chai latte at, at Starbucks. And something told me like, call Val and ask her about this. And we just got into this long conversation and one of the things she said was she's like, I will not do soy products. She said, you know, sure it might sneak in if, if I'm, you know, at a sushi place and I really feel like having a little taste of soy sauce or whatever. She said, but typically speaking, I'm not going to do, like she wouldn't do tempa, she wouldn't do um, ordering anything with soy milk, whatever. She's like, you know, I just don't want to risk with, with the hormones and then, um, we got into the whole talk about me being off the pill. You guys know I was on the pill for like 20 plus years of my life. And I do think that that's part of why my body is really starting to change now. Is I think that all of this stuff has just built up over years and years and years. And especially, and I know that Joe Dowdell would probably... Um, definitely if he was here he'd be like oh hells yes maybe in his own very masculine way um talk about how you know don't go back on the pill because of course i was actually flirting with that a year or so ago um but i was on the pill forever so if you think about all of the soy all of the um potentially you know affecting estrogen type of food I was eating, plus being on the pill, plus being on antibiotics for all those years. You know, I do think that there's part of my body that's just finally like, when you really let that go, then your body's like, oh. and it doesn't it doesn't change overnight. You know, there, it takes a while for that stuff to, to get out of your system. But I feel pretty strongly about, I really should be listening to these people, and paying attention to the fact that this is stuff I'm not having anymore, and my body's different. My metabolism is really starting to change. So last night, I really wanted that soy chai latte. And then I'm like, maybe I'll go to Starbucks and just get it with milk. And then I'm thinking, well, what am I gonna do? Do I, I haven't had a Starbucks drink with milk in so long. And those are the things that would upset my stomach. Whether it's, um, you know, back in the day when I was drinking milk, I was always getting, you know, skim. And I used to get on the plane. I'd always get a Starbucks latte or cappuccino with, of course, fat-free back then. And I would get on the flight and be doubled over in pain. Of course, back then I didn't attribute it to the dairy, but here I am in my house craving a, a chai latte, like out of, it was just outrageous. I had this craving and I'm like, I really want it, but I know I shouldn't order it with chai, or excuse me, with soy, and I really want it, but I don't be stupid and go get it with milk. Um, so I went to Trader Joe's, and I knew that the last time I was there, they were recommending this stuff, this non-dairy coffee creamer that's lactose-free, cholesterol-free, gluten-free, hazelnut flavor. So I thought, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get this to try um, I looked at the ingredients. The ingredients are filtered water, cane sugar, soybean. Oh, I didn't even see that. Crap, Ola. I only saw the sunflower oil. I didn't see soybean oil. Dumbass. Um, clearly, I was not in my right mind last night. Anyway, all that to say, I did try making, um, I came home and I made some of my Starbucks and I tried this in it. It's not that it tasted bad. Um, and you don't have to put a lot in your coffee to make it um, creamy. 
but you know, I'm, I'm just keeping an open, a much more open mind about when I eat things or drink things um, to see if I really like the taste. I think one of the things about myself in the past was I was all about, my hair is just a mess. Um, I was all about saying, you know, you can't have this, you can't have this. And then you find yourself obsessing about what you've said you can't have. And then when you go to eat it, it's more about, you know, or at least my mindset was always in the, in the past, you know, it's a cheat day and so it's like a free for all, like shove all this bad food in my mouth because I have to go back on my diet, I'm not allowed to have anything. So you have this mindset of all the stuff you're eating when you're dieting or on your, you know, diet is, is bad and you're restraining and you're really not having anything good. So you're, you're eating stuff and you're just getting through the day, thinking about this elusive cheat day. Then you get to your cheat day and whatever it is that you eat is, is all the forbidden stuff. And you don't even take the time to taste it. And, and I'm saying this generally speaking because I know a lot of you guys are like this or have been. I'm not like that anymore. If I'm going to go have something and I think that I'm craving chocolate and I buy cupcakes, you know, if I just go and I'm going to indulge and have cupcakes and, you know, like I buy it, I, I take my time and I'm eating it and I'm like, is this really, does this really taste good? Like, am I tasting this going, holy crap, this is amazing. What I have found this year in particular is that a lot of the crap junk food that I would obsess about, whether it was in the past years ago, I, I wanted Oreo cakesters all the time. And then finally, you know, no offense against Oreos, because I love regular Oreos, but Oreo cakesters, finally when I paid attention to what I was eating, I'm like, I don't even, this doesn't, I don't even know what I'm tasting. It was just that it was forbidden. So when I tried this, not that I looked at this necessarily as a cheat food or indulgence, you know, I made my cup of coffee and I'm drinking it going, this doesn't even taste like coffee to me. Like I thought, I'm so craving a regular cup of coffee, like a regular cappuccino. And I, I tried this, I might keep this for guests or something, but I tried it and I'm like, this is, this is not making it seem like it's that much better than what I'm drinking now, which is my coffee with my coconut oil and my cinnamon in it. So I guess what I'm telling you is so many of you are writing me going, you know, I'm glad I, you're either trying to get to this new mindset that I have or you're glad that I've done it, and blah, blah, blah. It's a much better place to be because I'm not like a, this is gonna sound like something that should be in a magazine. I'm not a prisoner to food anymore. You know, it doesn't have a certain power over me. Um, I don't feel bad if I want chocolate, I go get it and I eat it. And yeah, I'm not that person that can just keep chocolate in my house. So if I go buy chocolate, like if I go buy a whole case of Trader Joe's dark organic chocolates, whatever's left over, I'm throwing away. Because if you keep it in this house, it's not gonna happen. I'm already at 13 minutes and I haven't talked about these products on my counter. But you guys are used to it. If I start right here on a topic, we're just gonna go all over the place before we come back and actually finish up that thought. I'm sure you're used to it. And so many of you are on the treadmill right now going, oh, Kelly's got at least another five minutes so I can finish up my intervals. So what I also did, because I didn't know if I would like this, is I bought my favorite. This is what I've always liked. And I used to work at, um, a while ago, um, I go to a very big church, uh, Willow Creek out, out here, and they actually have their own Starbucks in it. And I used to volunteer and work at the Starbucks. <laughs> can you blame me? I'm not gonna lie, part of me was like, maybe I'll meet a cute guy this way, back then. Um, so this is what they use to make their um, chai latte. I think they still use this now, but this stuff you can get at Trader Joe's, you can get it at the grocery store. Um, so a half a cup of this is 90 calories, um, and the ingredients are water, organic evaporated cane juice, organic black tea, organic vanilla, organic spices, organic honey, citric acid, and natural flavors. So I keep this and then I just, you know, whatever almond milk. Um, oh, this is non-GMO verified. I didn't even realize that. Um, disclosure, um, Silk White Wave Foods is a client of my company, Fitfluential. So although I've bought this in the past already, please note, I have to disclose everything. Um, but this is, un I always get um, for almond milk, unsweetened vanilla which that kind of doesn't make sense to me when you say unsweetened and yet vanilla, but I'm not gonna question it. Um, but it's 30 calories, so you can take this, mix it with this, and have, you know, 150, because I do a little bit more than a half a cup, but you can have 150 or whatever. Heat this up in your, um, on your stove or whatever, 
add a little if you'd like, which they finally had in stock, Trader Joe's, and I am not paid by Trader Joe's. I wish they would pay me. I'll be your bitch. Um, pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice. I have read about this on Julie Goleen's blog like a year ago. And every time I've told you guys, every time I go to Trader Joe's, they haven't had this because they've been out of stock. Clearly, if you have this in your Trader Joe's, get it. I imagine this is going to be great on, in my, I'm going to probably sprinkle it in my coffee, yeah, in a chai tea, um, pumpkin pie. Maybe I might make pumpkin pie paleo, pumpkin pie paleo pancakes. I thought that was a tongue twister. And then the other thing, lastly, that I'm obsessed with is making those, uh, I get this huge thing of turkey from Walmart. This is only nine dollars for this whole thing and i will cook all of this uh jenny o turkey up and uh then i kind of make separate little batches of my cabbage meal which i'm obsessed with because now i add that um marinara sauce on the top so i will saute cabbage i put in oregano garlic pepper um the good olive oil right and then i saute that up when it's starting to get down and the, and the cabbage is looking like it's cooked. That's when I'll add the cooked. I do I cook the tur the the turkey separate. Then I'll add that to the uh, cabbage. Maybe some red onion in there. You of course could add any kinds of vegetables like zucchini in there or whatever. I might do that today. Um, and then I add the marinara sauce. Mix it up and I sprinkle Parmesan cheese on the top. Seriously, I'm in love with it. I'm also just wondering what's going on with my hair. Um, I love, love, love it. Like, that's my favorite thing right now. And I'm eating it all the time. You know that's what I do. I get this new meal and then that's kind of what I eat all the time. So that said, I've got my clothes on. I am gonna go run at Lifetime, sit in the sauna, and then come back here. And I've got some work to do today and uh, I think we're going to a movie tonight. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of the day and you know I'm looking at my hair right now going, I'll see you tomorrow.